Hello, I'm here to talk a bit about uh, cloaking malicious web content delivery. So it's a topic I've done a master's thesis on about a couple of years ago. Maybe a very quick introduction to what browser fingerprinting is. Uh, I don't know if you all know this game called Guess Who, but the idea of the game is that you have to guess who the other person has. Like you get a card in the beginning and that's the character you have to guess as the other player. And you do so by asking particular questions. For example, does this person have uh, black hair, brown hair or not? They answer with yes or no questions. And in the end, by asking a set of questions, you end up with hopefully only one person who is... Uh, the left and then you can say okay I I know who you have as a, a character and that's the one and then you win or lose the game depending on whether you were faster or not the same concept applies with browser fingerprinting so what we are trying to do is we are trying we are looking at details of your particular browser and there's some data that's leaked to us somehow for example, if you connect to a particular web server, you use particular headers, but also from a client side perspective, there is some data you can gather and send back to the server, for example, using a JavaScript. And what we are doing is we are looking for an ideal set of attributes that we can collect, which would identically, uh, uniquely identify the browser or the person who is using the browser. What do these attributes look like? This is an example of one. It's called the HTML canvas uh, uh, image. And some uh, researchers, they found that if you create particular images, they depend on your hardware and your browser settings. And so by generating this image with HTML and then fetching the data, sending it back to the server via JavaScript, you have now something that uniquely identifies the browser, or if it's linked to you, also you as a person. If you want to try to play with this a bit, there is a website where you can go. It's called miunique.org and slash fingerprint. You will see your fingerprints. They show you some examples of attributes and they tell you if in their data set your browser is unique. Oops. Now, on to cloaking. How can attackers use this? Or uh, also for some good purposes you can modify your content based on this fingerprint by looking at particular things. For example, the most uh, common known example is you know you want to attack Firefox version X, so you look at certain attributes and you know that's the version. However, you can take this much, much further and you could, for example, say I only want to attack Angela Merkel and if I have uh, identified which browsers belong to her, I can send benign. In this case, this is my example. I was sending uh, screen uh, pictures of capybaras or I can send malicious content. In this case, in my example, it was this picture. How can it be used differently as well? You can send after your initial payload something else which looks a bit suspicious but is not. And by doing that, you could, be, you could waste the time of an analyst because they think, ah, the payload I received when I went to this particular URL is bad, so I need to investigate. While in fact, they didn't get the, the malicious content. Why was I looking at this? Because I had the impression that from the, the, the security analyst I was talking to, they didn't, they were not really aware that this kind of cloaking was possible. So often they were just doing an analysis. They said, okay, this is an evil URL. I will also go to this page. I will see which content I get. And then based on that, I will do my analysis. Never thinking that ah, maybe they are sending some different payloads to my particular device. So there are some measures you can take. For example, using different browser profiles to, to make sure that you get the actual content, if that's at all possible. Uh, on top of that, I also saw that in the threat intelligence community, there was not really a lot of information about this. Even in things like uh, uh, MITRE attack and so on, the terminology you can use to tag threat intelligence with, it's very, very vague. For here I found one particular example that says it's browser fingerprinting, but if you read the description, they only mention this very, very basic thing, which I said, is, which is looking at, for example, at the Firefox uh, version. Uh, so my, my thought here is if you have anything about this, please share information with the threat intelligence community. And maybe if you see this a lot, you can come up with a taxonomy so that we can all share this much more easily. Yeah, that's it. Excellent. Thank you very much, everyone.